Hello, welcome. Today we are going to be looking at plane mensuration. Today we are going to be looking at what? Plane mensuration. Plane mensuration is simply that aspect of mathematics that deals with finding a way of determining the perimeter and the area of plane shapes. Is that clear? In plane mensuration, we try to determine the what? Perimeter and what? Area of plane shapes. Or you can say determining the circumference of a circle. Is that clear? Perimeter or area of plane shapes. And we know what plane shapes are, isn't it? The shapes that don't have depth. Example is what? Triangle, trapezium, parallelogram, square, square, rectangle, isn't it? So today we're going to be starting with that of a triangle. I will say that perimeter is the distance around a plane shape. Is that clear? Are you seeing this plane shape? What is the distance around it? This side plus this side plus this side. Is that not? That is the distance. So if you are told to calculate the perimeter of this triangle, it's simply A plus B plus what? C. Can you see perimeter equal to A plus B plus C? And we are giving the values of A, B to C as 8, 10, and 15. So we have 8 plus 15 plus 10, giving us 33. Is that clear? Now let's look at the area of a triangle. Area is the space, this physical space. Is that clear? Let me indicate. This is the perimeter, this side, this, and this. Whereas area is the space that is this triangle is actually occupying. Is that clear? So how do we calculate it? We use, if we are given these three sides, like A, B, and C, you use what we call Hero's formula. You use what we call what? And it states that area is simply the root of x bracket x minus a bracket x minus b bracket x minus c. Here a, b, c are the sides. Is that clear? And this s can be gotten by saying half of the summation of the sides. Is that clear? That is when a, b, and c the sides are given. That's the formula you use in evaluating the area. But now, when you are given one side, say A, you are given only A, and you are also given this, a perpendicular height on that A, what formula are you going to use? You are going to use that area is equal to half the side given A times the height of the perpendicular line that gets to the A. Is that clear? So we say half of the product of the side and the perpendicular height to it. But then, when you are given two sides, let's say you are given a and, a and C, or C and B, or A and B, what formula are you going to use? We are going to use this formula that says area is equal to half A, B sine C. You understand? So if you are giving A and C, you say half A, C, sine what? B. Sine what? A and C. A, C sine B. The angle that is in between them. Is that clear? If you are giving A and B, you say half a, B, sine what? C. The angle between A and C. Is that clear? Or the angle facing the opposite side that you are not giving. That's the formula. So you either any one that you are giving. Just know that you are saying half the product of the two sides given times the angle that is, face, that is in between them or the angle of the side that is not given. That is that the angle opposite the side that is not given. Is that clear? So you check that. So you can either use any of these formulas, three formulas of area, depending on what you are given. If you are given the three sides, you use area is equal to root of x bracket, x minus a bracket, x minus b bracket, x minus c. Here s is equal to half of the summation of the sides. If you are given a side and a perpendicular height to it, use area equal to half that side and times the perpendicular height to it. If you are given two sides with angle in between them, you use half the product of the two sides times the angle, sine times sine of the angle in between them. Is that clear? Yes. So those are the formulas you can use in solving for the areas of plane shape circle. Yes, if you like this video, click on the subscribe button. Share our videos so that people can see them. Thanks for your support. God bless you.